Hi friends. So far, we have not discussed the time evolution of oscillator states as well as observables X and P. Okay. Now we are going to discuss the time dependence of observables like X and P and the time de dependence of its expectation values. Okay. That means uh, we are approaching the symbol harmo harmonic oscillator in Heisenberg's picture. And we know in Heisenberg's picture the observables like X and P will uh, change with respect to time and the state gets remains unchanged. Okay. So in this uh, in this session we work in Heisenberg's picture. And now let us consider Heisenberg's equation of motion and uh, that equation is dPi over dt equal to minus dou or dou over dou xi the potential v of x. Okay. If you are not familiar with this equation, you have to look back uh, to the session and first theorem and uh, you can find this equation there. Okay. So, I am taking that equation directly, Heisenberg's equation of motion and that is dPi over dt equal to this equation. For simple harmonic oscillator, we know the potential energy operator is half m omega square x square. This is the potential energy. This is the potential energy term and we are differentiating uh, and uh, okay, uh, we are applying this value in the Heisenberg's equation of motion and we are getting dp over dt equal to minus dou by dou x minus dou by dou x um, of half m omega square x square and dp over dt equal to minus m omega square x if we differentiate this with respect to x we will get minus m omega square x and uh, uh, let me put it as equation 1 okay and from that session itself equation of motion uh, from equation of motion uh, dx over dt equal to p over m that is equation 2 okay if you are not familiar with these two equations you can go back to uh, the session n first theorem okay and we know the annihilation operator is a equal to under root m omega over 2h cross x plus i p over m omega okay and we are differenti differentiating this annihilation operator also and we will get that is equal to under root m omega over 2h cross uh, dx over dt plus i over m omega dp over dt okay and we are substituting the values of uh, dx over dt from the equation 2 and dp over dt from equation 1 okay and uh, when we are manipulating it we will get uh, the equation dA over dt equal to minus i omega a and let me put it as equation 3 and we know what is uh, creation operator a dagger and that is equal to that is equal to under root m omega uh, over 2h cross 2h cross x minus i p over m omega okay this is a creation operator this is the form of creation operator and if you are doing the same step if you are uh, differentiating the creation operator uh, a dagger with respect to time we will get uh, we will get that is equal to i omega a dagger and let me put it as equation 4 okay We obtained two equations, uh, the time dependence of the time derivative of annihilation operator and creation operator. Okay, now we are going to derive uh, what is the value of annihilation operator and creation operator in this way. Uh, from, the, uh, from equation 3 we can take dA over A equal to minus I omega dt and we can integrate on both, integrate on both sides and we will get that is ln A equal to minus I omega t plus a constant C and uh, uh, when we are taking exponential on both side we will get e raised to ln a equal to e raised to minus i omega t into uh, e raised to c okay that means uh, e raised to ln a we know this property e raised to uh, you know e raised to ln x equal to x by using this property we will get a a is uh, dependent on time so we can say that a is a function of time array of t equal to e raised to c into e raised to minus i omega t okay and we need to find out the constant value of this constant and uh, we can find out we can apply the initial condition uh, in this equation that is uh, at a time t equal to 0 we will get a of 0 equal to uh, at time t equal to 0 this is e raised to minus i omega into 0 and e raised to 0 is 1 so we will get a of 0 equal to e raised to c okay so uh, then we can put this value, we can apply this value in equation 3 
uh, sorry equation uh, 5 so we will get equation 5 was a of t equal to a of 0 this is a constant into e raised to minus i omega t okay next uh, by the similar way we can find out the value of uh, creation operator a dagger and a dagger of t equal to a dagger of 0 into e raised to i omega t okay i am not doing the uh, no, i am not uh, working on that whole steps uh, uh, you can do it okay because uh, that steps are similar to uh, the steps which we found a of t and uh, we know the number operator a dagger a n equal to a dagger a and that is equal to a dagger of 0 e raised to i omega t this is a dagger at uh, time t a dagger as a function of time t and this is a as a function of time t okay this uh, annihilation operator and this creation operator varies with respect to time in this form okay and uh, when we are finding the number operator we will get that is equal to this e raised to minus i omega t and this e raised, e raised to plus i omega t and this e raised to minus omega t and we will get that is equal to 1 that is a dagger a uh, the a dagger um a dagger into a okay that is equal to we usually write a dagger a that means the number operator n is independent of time okay the annihilation operators depends on time in this way the creation operator also depends on the time in this way but the any uh, uh, but the number operator n is independent of time and we know our um, our hamiltonian operator h equal to n plus okay we are talking about simple harmonic oscillator our uh, uh, hamiltonian operator n equal to uh, h equal to n plus half h cross omega okay so if uh, n is independent of time then we can understand the Hamiltonian operator H is also independent of time. Okay, our creation operator, our creation operator, and our annihilation operator is dependent on time, and uh, um, uh, that is um, annihilation operator A, uh, A is proportional to exponential uh, exponential uh, minus i omega t, and creation operator is proportional to uh, exponential i omega t okay and this both operators are dependent on time and the number operator and hamiltonian operators are independent of time okay so we obtained two equations equation six and seven there is a, a annihilation operator and a creation operator as a function of time okay so we can write at a time t equal to zero a of 0 equal to under root m omega over 2 h cross x of 0 plus p of 0 over m omega at a time t equal to 0 actually our annihilation operator um, annihilation operator is a function of uh, position operator and momentum operator and we can write in this way at a time t equal to 0 we can write in this way at a time t we can write our annihilation operator equal to under root m omega over 2 h cross x of t plus i p of t over m omega okay x our position operator and our momentum operator as a function of time that is equation 9 and we can substitute to this equation 8 and 9 in equation 6 and we will get under root m omega over 2h cross x of t plus i p of t equal to a of 0 is our under root m omega x of 0 plus i p of 0 over, uh, over m omega into e raised to minus i omega t okay we can cancel this uh, term under root m omega over 2h cross because uh, uh, that is there in both sides and uh, then we can reduce that is uh, x of t uh, plus i p of t over m omega equal to x of 0 e raised to minus i omega t plus i p of 0 over m omega e raised to minus i omega t okay we can expand this term e raised to minus i omega t and e raised to uh, e raised to um, okay e raised to minus i omega t expand this term e raised to minus i omega t so we will get that is equal to x of t plus i p of t over m omega equal to x of 0 e raised to minus i omega t is cos i cos omega t minus i sin omega t so we can write in this way and uh, plus i p of 0 over m omega e raised to minus i omega t also we can write cos uh, omega t cos omega t minus sin omega t okay uh, here one i is also there so when we are multiplying with uh, uh, minus i sin omega t that we will get uh, that will become uh, plus 1 and that that's why this plus sign is here okay so here we got one equation and uh, that equation contains both uh, hermitian terms and uh, anti-hermitian terms on both sides okay this is actually hermitian term uh, hermitian term in lhs and in rhs 
x cos omega t plus uh, p sin omega t this term is actually the affirmation term um, in the equation term okay actually the position operator x and momentum operator p are hermitian operators but when uh, when uh, here one term is there uh, i comes here i comes and here also the imaginary parts come then when we are taking the uh, a diagram we will get minus a so this is uh, this are uh, this terms are anti hermitian terms with this imaginary parts this terms are anti hermitian terms and uh, this parts are hermitian terms x of t equal to uh, x of 0 cos omega t uh, plus p of 0 or m omega sin omega t those are uh, hermitian parts so we can compare the hermitian parts x of t uh, uh, hermitian parts we will get x of t equal to x of 0 cos omega t plus p of 0 over m omega sin omega t and let me put it as equation 11 and when we are comparing the um, anti-hermitian parts of the both sides of this equation we will get equation 12 p of t equal to minus m omega x of 0 sin omega t plus p of 0 cos omega t we you need just some manipulation uh, to reach this equation you can uh, fortlessly reach in this step okay so here we obtained two equations position as a position of position operator as a function of time and momentum operator as a function of time and that we got as uh, that is equal to x of 0 cos omega t plus p of 0 over m omega sin omega t and that was equation 11 and this is equation 12 okay actually in classical mechanics we used to um, write uh, a function, a periodic function of uh, function as a function of time equal to a sin omega t plus b cos omega t. This is a periodic function. And quantum mechanically, we got this operators similar to this function and uh, uh, that a periodic function in classical mechanics. Okay. Now we are going to uh, find the expectation value of uh, position operator as a function of time. Okay, this operator is changing with respect to time and uh, uh, we are finding the expectation value of uh, position with respect to time. Okay, and that is equal to a x of t m and uh, we are taking, we are substituting the value for x of t from this equation 11 and we will get uh, that is equal to a x of 0 cos omega t plus p of 0 over m omega sin omega t m. Okay, and we are expanding uh, in this way and we are, uh, from this term we are taking the cos omega t outside because that is not an operator operator is x of 0 and sin omega t or m omega we are taking outside and n p this p of 0 is uh, operator and uh, uh, p of 0 m ok and uh, we have proved that uh, proved in previous classes we have proved the n x n equal to 0 the expectation value of position at, uh, at time t uh, we used to consider at time t equal to 0 and uh, uh, that we used to get the expectation value of x and p expectation value of x and uh, p we got 0 okay and uh, I just explained here also why this these are getting 0 and you can uh, verify once again I'm not going to explain it okay and uh, finally we will get that is equal to 0 okay this term is 0 and this term is also equal to 0 so the expectation value of position operator at time as a function of time that is equal to 0 and the momentum operator as a function of time equal to 0 okay and we know if the operator is independent of time and the expectation values we got that is equal to 0 and the uh, momentum operator also we obtained expectation value is equal to 0 and uh, from this two equations from this two equations this is equation uh, 13 and this equation 14 from these two equations we can uh, we can mm, we can understand the expectation values are independent of time okay expectation values values are not changing with respect to time okay we got at uh, uh, the expectation value uh, the position operator when we considered this was not uh, dependent on time at that time we got expectation value equal to zero and here we are taking that operators are dependent on time and that is uh, the, uh, then uh, then also the expectation value x of t equal to we are getting that is equal to zero okay that means the expectation values will not change with respect to time the expectation values of position and momentum are independent of time okay We obtained four equations. 
position operator as a function of time, moment operator as a function of time, the expectation value of position uh, operator as a function of time, uh, expectation value of moment operator as a function of time, and we got this values. Okay. So uh, uh, let me consider a particle which oscillates back and forth about a mean position. And in simple harmonic oscillator, we are taking that mean position as 0 and this particle is oscillating back and forth about this mean position. Okay. Uh, so I need to find out the position at a particular time. Mm -hmm. So I can measure the position and the position will change with respect to time in this format. Okay. That particle, position of this particle can change uh, with respect to time in this format. So uh, at a part, if I need to find uh, the position of the particle at a time t, I can use this equation. And as well as the momentum, I can use this equation also. Okay. So this particle can be anywhere uh, anywhere in between this uh, amplitudes. Okay. And next, the expectation value as a function of time. Expectation value as a function of time. Expectation value is independent of time. Expectation value of position is independent of time. Expectation value of momentum is independent of time. What this means actually? Uh, if this particle uh, is oscillating and uh, I measure the um, position of this particle almost 100 times. Okay. Out of this 100 times, around 900 times, I found that the position of the particle is at, at origin or at this mean position. Okay. And the remaining 100 times, and the remaining 100 times, I found that the position of the particle at here, at here, or here, or here, it can be anywhere. Okay. But the, uh, the uh, around 900 times, I used to find this particle is at zero. The expectation value of position means, expectation value of position means, the uh, position where the particle is most likely to be found. Okay, out of 1900 times I found this particle is, in, uh, particle is at origin, particle is at mean position. That means the expectation value is at mean position. That expectation value of position that is equal to zero. The expectation value will, uh, the expectation value of position means uh, the position where the particle is most likely to be find. Okay, so the expectation value of momentum is also like that. Mm -hmm. Look at this for a classical oscillator. We can represent like this. This is a classical oscillator. Uh, so, I can find the position of this particle, the position of this block of mass M, and at a particular time, it is more likely uh, to be found here, and at another instant, uh, it's more likely to be here, and at another instant, this block of mass is more likely to be here. That means the expectation values of classical oscillator is oscillating. Okay. Expectation values are oscillating, and here we found uh, in quantum mechanics the expectation values are not oscillating, and uh, uh, at any time the particle is more likely to be found at the position zero at mean position. Okay, it can be here or it can be here, but uh, uh, the the probability is more uh, to be find the particle is at this mean position. Okay, then uh, how to make a quantum mechanical harmonic oscillator uh, uh, whose expectation values will change with respect to time. Okay, we need to take superposition of different states. Okay, for that, uh, uh, for a quantum harmonic oscillator, uh, it should be analogous to a um, classical oscillator we need to take the superposition of different states. Okay, let me consider the state alpha, that is superposition of ground state as well as first excited state. Hmm. And uh, this is a uh, uh, ket alpha equal to C0, uh, uh, C0 uh, 0 plus uh, C11. And bra alpha equal to C0 C star plus 1 C star, uh, C1 star. Okay, and now you are finding the expectation values with respect to this state. Okay, expectation values in this state. Here we found uh, this is a stationary state, and here we are finding 
uh, this is the superposition of uh, two different states, uh, ground state and first excited state, and we are going to find the expectation values of you know, the uh, position operator in this superposition of states. Okay, uh, that in this way we can find out. Uh, I'm not writing the whole steps because uh, there will be many steps, there will be many number of steps, and uh, um, I don't want to write that whole steps. Just uh, uh, we need to uh, we need to uh, understand the expected what 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 is the uh, behavior of the expectation value uh, uh, for uh, superposition of states. Okay, for that I'm just starting the steps, and uh, you have to complete the steps. I'll I'll say how to uh, finish the steps. Okay. And here x of t and uh, uh, we know alpha is this one and uh, uh, you know bra alpha x ket alpha okay uh, the uh, bra alpha is this one and ket alpha is this one this is the uh, x of t and we can expand in this way c naught square uh, 0 c naught c naught star c naught 0 okay that is uh, mod c naught square 0 x t 0 plus c1 square um uh, one uh, xt uh, one okay uh, plus c naught star c one and this stuff okay so we know what is what is x of t here x of t is there here x of t is there here x of t is there so we can take the value uh, of this operator from the equation eleven and we can apply here okay uh, here x of t is x of 0 cos omega t plus phi of 0 over m omega sin omega t. Okay, and we know what is x of 0? x of x of uh, 0 equal to under root uh, uh, m omega over 2h cross over 2h cross um, you know a plus a dagger. Okay, that we need to apply in, in the position of x of 0 and p of 0 we need to uh, we need to apply its value operator okay in terms of a dagger uh, a dagger a dagger minus a dagger minus a we need to apply in the uh, in the uh, position operator there we have to substitute there and uh, uh, there will be many steps we need to uh, do a lot of steps for it and uh, I'll say and the finally we will get the expectation value in in this form okay in the form of a sin omega t some value will be here a sin omega t plus b cos omega t that means uh, the physical significance of this expectation values our concern because of that i am not doing uh, the whole steps so uh, i don't know the value of this one a i don't know the value of b also and the physical significance of this expectation value is this is the expectation value is also oscillating uh, with respect to time uh, with a frequency of omega okay so for a stationary state the expectation value is not changing uh, but uh, about the superposition of states the expectation value is changing with respect to uh, time so by blending different uh, states uh, we can make quantum harmonic oscillator uh, which is analogous to our classical our classical oscillator okay Okay, uh, I'll explain this uh, difference uh, physically. Uh, consider, uh, consider a particle oscillates about a mean position, and this is one limit, and this is another limit, and uh, uh, this is the amplitude. Okay, uh, in between this uh, limits, this particle is oscillating. Uh, this particle is oscillating. Okay. So now I'm going to uh, explain the difference of expectation values of uh, stationary state and uh, superposition of different states. Okay, for a stationary state, uh, uh, look at this. I'm considering uh, the particle as a wave packet, and this central bright spot. Uh, let me consider as a wave packet, and um, uh, when we are considering the expectation values about a stationary state, uh, this. Uh, expectation value will not change with respect to time that means uh, the particle is more likely to be at this mean position always okay uh, at a particular instant of time and another instant of time when we are considering uh, when, uh, uh, with respect to time the expectation value will not change because uh, the uh, that means the 
probability of finding the particle is more at center and the uh, position uh, at this central position okay now let me consider the superposition of different states and uh, the difference is for the superposition of different states at uh, at some particular instant of time at some particular instant of time uh, the particle is at this position and another instant of time the particle may be at this position another instant of time uh, the, part, uh, the uh, particle is more likely to be in this position and another instant of time uh, it's more likely to be in this position that means uh, this bright spot we are considering as a wave packet and uh, with respect to time for superposition of different states um, uh, superposition of different states this expectation values oscillate with respect to time this expectation values oscillates okay with the frequency of with the frequency of omega this expect expectation values oscillate about um, when, uh, uh, when we consider uh, the superposition of different states okay with the frequency of omega okay now i hope you understood so uh, how can we make superposition of different energy states uh, that's the question it can be obtained by actually translating the ground state of a uh, simple harmonic oscillator into a finite distance okay if a particle oscillates about a main position and uh, this translating means this is a translation operator translation operator means we are applying a some particular momentum so uh, if a particle is oscillating if particle os uh, executes simple harmonic oscillation we are applying just a momentum and uh, uh, <coughs> in the ground state and uh, that translation that uh, finite translation operator is this one is raised to minus IPL over H cross and when we are doing this one um, this executes this expectation value of this uh, uh, harmonic oscillator executes expectation value of this oscillator uh, uh, will also change with respect to uh, time okay and uh, that operation is this one here is to minus IPL or H cross uh, uh, operating on ground state and uh, we can expand this here is to minus IPL or H cross in H cross in this way 1 minus uh, 1 plus x plus x square over 2 factorial plus x in that form okay when we are uh, right uh, uh, when we are expanding that one we can write 0 minus IPL over H cross 0 plus x okay uh, the remaining states I'm not writing here etc I just I need to show how this uh, ground state will change into uh, the superposition of different states by using translation operator okay uh, so here expanding in this way and that is 0 uh, minus IPL over H cross on 0 means IL over H cross into uh, the operator P is I into uh, under root M H cross omega over 2 minus A plus A dagger on 0 okay, okay. when we are expanding that one uh, we can expand this way and we will get the second term uh, here if we are expanding with A 0 we will get 0 and A dagger 0 we will get another state 1 and uh, we can write in this way that is equal to ket 0 uh, plus L over H cross ket 1 plus etc. Okay, this is a superposition of ground state, first excited state and etc. Okay, so in this way we can uh, shift a ground state into superposition of some different states using an infinite uh, using a finite translation operator e to minus IPL over H cross. Okay. So in the superposition of states the expectation value uh, will oscillate back and forth and that superposition of state we can represent uh, as a coherent state mm, and we can define it as a coherent state with an annihilation operator operates on a uh, ket lambda equal to we will get an eigenvalue uh, lambda okay. okay that coherent state is defining this way that lambda uh, uh, lambda equal to eigenvalue lambda into ket lambda and we are going through uh, some of the properties uh, peripherally okay we are not uh, not going in detail uh, about this coherent states and uh, let me say that properties uh, lambda equal to sum of n equal to 0 to infinity fn n this is the expansion coefficient uh, uh, similar to uh, we used to represent a state alpha equal to sum of a dash c a dash a dash okay we used to represent, represent like this so in coherent state uh, 
instead of the C A dash here F N and we are defining that F N uh, on some Poisson type uh, and this N bar is some uh, average value or mean value uh, of different states and uh, that over uh, N over N factorial into E raised to minus N bar and it can be obtained by this uh, coherent state uh, can be obtained by translating the oscillator ground state by some finite distance that we told uh, how we are oscillating uh, with the translation operator finite translation operator raised to minus i h uh, i p l over h cross on a ground state okay that's uh, that's the second property and the third property is satisfies the minimum uncertainty relation at all times okay minimum uncertainty uh, relation at uh, all times that means the uncertainty will be h bar square over 4 okay